Hi there, this is Michael from Asia Virtual Solutions. Today we'll be taking a look at uh, how to create free email accounts um, using GSA Search Engine Anchor. Uh, this is a question that was sent to me by one of our regular users from uh, Moldova of all places. So thank you for that question and uh, <clears throat> I will quickly walk you through the steps of using, uh, of using GSI Search Engine Ranker to create those emails. First of all, uh, these are disposable emails that GSI Search Engine Ranker will be creating. And you can read more in the blog post uh, uh, that we have created for this, uh, more detail on the type of domains that we'll use and uh, what disposable emails are. So to create uh, disposable free emails, you create your project as normal, so um, select a couple of platforms um, and then what you need to do is go to the email tab. And the email tab, uh, there's normally an email there by default, just delete that, <coughs> excuse me, delete that one email. And so there's nothing here now. So what you want to do now is go to the bottom here where it says create now. Click Create now and you will be presented with this pop-up uh, where there's a total of, uh, uh, I don't know if it's in front of me, there's about 17 uh, domains. I'm lying, there's about 26 domains uh, that GSA Search Engine Ranker use. So from here you need to select one, one domain and uh, you can just use this. And you can select any email from here, uh, sort of any domain uh, like this, or you can just use the random, and then uh, GSI Search Engine Ranker will select a random uh, domain to use. And then how many emails you want to create? In this section, don't go crazy and say you want to create a thousand or ten thousand email accounts because these disposable emails are, are not very stable and uh, they, they track your IP and if you have found that you are using too much of these emails they will block you. Um, have a look at the blog post, there's more detail. So I would suggest just create 10 to 20. So let's say 20, I will create 20 emails now here, 20 and I selected random. So we click create next and there you are. Now in the past, before I was familiar with this, I, I couldn't figure out why is there no POP3 server, why is there no login, or any of the fields. This, if I select one, everything here was, was broken. And um, if I click test all, it says it cannot find it, cannot check it. That was very confusing, but I understand now that how this works. So what it is is that these email accounts are browser email accounts. They are not accessible via POP3, which is what GSI Search Engine Anchor normally use. Now if you want to know if it's uh, uh, and as they, as they are here now, they will work. So your emails is now created, you can click OK and uh, they will work. Um, but if you want to be double sure if they're working. Just take any domain. Let me just. Uh, I actually have a domain here that I want to show you. Um, this is the blog post I just did. So I created some already. So I created. You see this, Freunden, uh, a username, Nick Callaway four two o nine at Freunden dot ru. And um, Freunden is uh, one of the, there should be a Freunden in here as well. There's one, you see, Freunden. So what you do is you take, uh, you can copy it from here, and then uh, just open uh, the browser. And uh, if you paste, just paste that, sorry, that first part, uh, the domain, just delete that first. Just go to that domain that I created and you will see it redirect 
to temper email. You see? Because those email accounts that the uh, GSA search engine that Anchor creates are all from this email. And uh, here now you will see the, all the domains. So just select the domain that you have now used. So I said Freunden, yeah. Where is this Freunden? Freunden are you? Uh, let me paste that username that I had. It was like that. And there you go. If, if it's not English, then you can just click at the bottom here yeah, on the flag. And it will then go there. So there I've now pasted, I've selected that domain and I pasted the username. So if you now click your login and check emails, you will see there uh, should be one. Yes, there's one email that I've sent today. And I'll show you what it is that I sent. I sent this email from Asia Virtual Solutions. This is a test from Asia Virtual Solutions. And I sent it to Nick Callaway 4209freunden.ru. So as you see now, if I open that, you will see there's the email that I have sent. There's an HTML version also, or text version. So you can see that these are working. And you will receive uh, the email. GSI search engine and anchor will lock into these and they will check the emails for you. Uh, you can even reply to these emails, you can forward them, or you can just delete them. <coughs> excuse me, delete them uh, when you are done. So I'll just delete. Are you sure really you delete? Yeah, I want to delete. So now that email is gone. Okay, so. This is how these emails work. They're loaded in the browser and not via a mail server. Let me just uh, close this. So once you are here, you're not done. You can click OK. You can move on and do the rest of your project and these will work. But having said that, uh, these disposable are disposable emails. And uh, GSA search engine ranker has the ability, uh, the capability to create free emails for you, but these dispo are disposable email accounts. The fact, the fact that uh, no one is talking about these emails is simply because um, the success rate with these disposable email accounts are very low. And um, you do not really want to use these uh, disposable email accounts uh, in GSI search engine anchor because you will have a very low success rate and your VPN, actually your VP verified, verified links, v, VLM verified links per minute will be the, the one here at the bottom, VPN, M, will be very low. These are also, so anybody now that see this email, they can go and open that and see all your other emails as well. So there's no privacy at all, so anybody have access to your emails. All they need, uh, if, if they're familiar with these domains and they see it, can go and open up all your other emails uh, as well. Um, this uh, temper mail are also quite strict and they do not uh, like you creating thousands and thousands of emails. And so they do ban your IP very quickly as well. But the biggest problem is that many of the sites where you would like to register accounts on a GSI search engine ranker, they simply do not allow um, uh, the use of, uh, of disposable email, free email, so like Reddit or some other sites. Uh, where you go and register accounts on, they will say, sorry, we do not accept uh, free or disposable email accounts. And uh, they will uh, they will not uh, create the account uh, in GSA Search Engine Rank. Uh, you're welcome to go and try it, but I can guarantee you that your success rate with, uh, when using these will be very low. You are much better off uh, just to go and... Uh, Purchase the real email accounts from GSA Search Engine Ranker. And these, uh, we, I guarantee, uh, you see there's a guarantee they will be working for at least six months. If not, you get a full replacement uh, 
uh, of that email, or we fix it, or we replace uh, it for you. And starting from three dollars for fifty emails, it's, a, it's not <laughs> that much. But now you know how the free email account work. Go and play over, test it, and if you really want to test it, use it on your lowest of lowest tiers. Do not create us. Do not use these emails for your top tier uh, projects, because as I mentioned, the success rate is very low. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope uh, you learned something new today. Cheers, and have a good day. Bye.